A Wednesday afternoon crash kills two people in Northern Allen County. The city of Garrett receives a grant that will help keep kids safe, and we'll tell you how. And the Hamilton School Board appoints a new superintendent. I'm Woody Zimmerman. These stories and more next on Hoosier Ohio News Channel. Over 70% of our customers are repeat buyers or referrals. To get a customer back in our business, you have to treat them right. Sell them a quality vehicle and back it like we do with our famous 100,000 mile warranty. Preferred Auto on Grand Staff in Auburn. Who's your Ohio News Channel? Leading you into the future of how you get your news. Local, dependable, on demand. And now, the latest from Who's your Ohio News Channel. A Wednesday afternoon crash killed two people on Tonka Road just north of Hostler Road. The head-on collision was between a van and a car driven by a teenager who reportedly crossed into oncoming traffic. That left the van driver in serious condition. Uh, condition rather. The 18-year-old driver died, as did the 21-year-old passenger in the van. Witnesses told investigators that the driver of the car was attempting to pass another vehicle that was being driven by his girlfriend when he crashed head-on into the wheelchair accessible van that was traveling in the other direction. The city of Garrett received a grant that'll make, uh, that will soon make it rather safer for students who walk and ride their bikes to school. The $41,000 grant is part of a $3.4 million program from NDOT and the State Departments of Health and Education. In a published report, Garrett Council member Brad Stump credited parents who responded to a survey that was a part of the grant application. He also credited school staff members for their participation. The Hamilton School Board has named a new permanent school superintendent. His name is John Willman, and he comes to Hamilton from the Northwestern School Corporation in Howard County, where he has been a school principal for the past 15 years. Prior to that, Willman was a teacher for 16 years. He is a graduate of Ball State and will begin his new job in Hamilton on November 29th. A jury in Wabash County found Scott Patterson guilty of murdering his wife. After deliberating for eight hours, the jury reached the verdict. The jurors uh, didn't believe Patterson's story uh, about returning to his Wabash County home, only to find his wife lying on a workbench unresponsive. Patterson's security system apparently told a different story. The prosecution said, showing that Patterson returned home and then didn't call authorities for several hours after his return. Patterson could face up to 65 years in prison when he is sentenced. That hearing is expected to come sometime in the next 30 days. Turnout was light at last night's meeting to discuss an increase in gas rates proposed by Northern Indiana Fuel and Lights. About 15 people turned out at the meeting that was held at the Auburn's, uh, at, uh, Auburn's ACD Museum. An increase in the distribution rates, NIFL charges, uh, could mean an average of an additional $6 on a homeowner's uh, monthly gas bill. The Indiana Office of Utility Consumer Counselor will accept comments on the proposed increase between now and January 21st. You can get more information online at www.in.gov slash OUCC. And that's the news for now. If you see news happening, let us know about it. You can email us at news at gmail.com. I'm Woody Zimmerman. Have a wonderful day. But you approved me for a car loan two years ago. Times are tough. We've had to tighten up our standards. Do you approve any car loans? Let's see. But here's some great news. I just got my bonus. If you've been turned down for a car loan, you need to see us today. Preferred Auto is the largest independent dealer in the state, so banks and credit unions want to lend us money. If you're tired of hearing no, it's time to start hearing yes. Come see us now at your Preferred Auto on Grand Staff next to Hollywood Video.